Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Now this is gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to show you here the GNOME 40 shell on Arch, which landed today on the extra repository. So the GNOME shell 40 version was already in the testing repository and also in the staging repository now for a while. The staging repository is the repository where developers are, are building several packages at once. And once it's done, then they're going to be moved to the testing repository or to the main repository, depending on the needs. Now the GNOME 40 shell landed today in the extra repository on Arch, and I installed it here quickly on this machine so that we can have a look at it together. Now, this is one of the new uh, wallpapers that we have available here on the GNOME 40 shell. If I click here on change background, you can see some of these are new. And of course, the biggest news that we saw already also in the Fedora 34 beta video is the new layout for the dock here and also for the workspace. As you can see, it's now everything laid out horizontally instead of vertically. Now, this is really a matter of personal preference if you like to have it horizontally or vertical. I think personally for me, if I would be using GNOME again, I would probably like this layout better because it feels easier to scroll through the workspaces. But again, this is personal preference and for some of you, it might take time to get used to this. Then of course we have also the layout for the applications, which is also horizontal and you can move the applications around here and create your own folders if you wish to do so. Now uh, another thing that I would like to point out here is the tweaks tool. Now if I open up the tweaks tool, you can see here the extension menu is gone and that's because everything has been moved to the extensions application that you can see here. Now these are some of the extensions already compatible for GNOME 40. Not all of the extensions are yet compatible with this version of GNOME. So you, if you want to upgrade, you'll need to make sure that the extension that you are using is compatible with the GNOME Shell 40. To do this, you can actually go to the browser and you can go to the GNOME extensions website. And I made a type there, it doesn't matter. The website works anyway, less. And you can see we have here uh, 12 pages of extensions. Now about a couple of hours ago, it was 11 pages. Now it's already 12. So we have more extensions here updated regularly. And some of the most popular extensions like dash to dock, for example, or dash to panel are not yet compatible with these extensions. So if you want to use the GNOME 40 shell and you're using the dash to dock, for example, extension, you need to be aware of the fact that it's not working yet. So for example, if I search in here dash, to dock, you can see it's not appearing because we are using the current version here, which is the GNOME 40 shell. But if I use here the old versions, you can see it appears here and it's basically grayed out. So if I click here, it's telling me that it's incompatible with this version of GNOME. Now, probably it's gonna be updated soon, but again, if you're planning to use this version of GNOME, make sure that the extensions that you're using are actually compatible with the GNOME 40 shell. So to do this, again, you can come over to this website and check yourself if the extensions that you're using are already compatible or not with this version of GNOME. Now, having said that, another thing that I would like to show you that is new also here is if we go to the software center here, we go to install and I pick one of these applications, for example, like the calendar, you can see we have the version history. So by clicking here, we can see the history of the application and what changed and when it was changed. So this is also new here in the GNOME 40 shell. Now, another thing that I cannot show you here in the video is the trackpad gestures for laptops. So if you have a laptop and you install GNOME 40, you should have more gestures possibilities. And I will try them out next week while I try to install GNOME 40 on a laptop here. And then eventually I can give you my impressions. But if you have a laptop and you already installed GNOME 40, let me know in the comments below how they are working out for you. We have also a new weather application. If you're using that, you can see here the layout is slightly different than before. Also, we have here a hourly and a daily schedule or forecast better set, but this is also new. It has been redesigned for the GNOME 40 shell. Now, these are some of the new features here on the GNOME 40 shell on Arch. And if you install this on your machine, let me know in the comments below, how do you like it? And what do you like about this new version of GNOME or what you don't like about this new version of GNOME? Now, this is gonna do it for this video, guys. Just a very short video here to show you the new features here on Arch for the GNOME 40 shell. But nevertheless, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always help me out. And if you want to support my work, you can become a Patreon if you want to. As you probably know already, I'm doing a live webinar on Patreon with my patrons once a month. We are focusing on one topic about Linux. Or if you want, you can also donate via PayPal to my website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one.